All right, we're on the air. Are we live? We're live. Live with five. <laughs> live with number five. That's right. So right now, in the moment, you're watching on Facebook Live from the Sculpt to Fit page. Uh, or if it's a week from now, a year from now, whenever, you're watching either on Facebook after we've uploaded it or YouTube or on our Sculpt to Fit site or on, possibly on another site. I'm Joey Atlas. This is Nikki Doherty. We're here getting set up for the audio version of the podcast. You're watching the video show version of the Wellness and Weight Loss for Women podcast, episode number five, number five. right? So as I, get, um, as I get my mic on, you have yours on already. I have mine, it's good to go. Let's see, we go up through the shirt here, we put the lapel mic on, so that our sound is good. How do I look? Looks great. Good. Yeah. All right, so I've got my, my laptop here. Because we've got some good Q and A's that are going to require me to pull some some references up. Okay. So we're going to tap to start recording. This is Joey Atlas testing out my my voice levels here as we get into the groove of this new podcast, relatively new. And uh, just so you know, if you're listening on audio, we are recording on video as well through our Facebook Live channel on the Sculpt to Fit site. So people on video are now watching us get set up around the Sculpt to Fit home gym system that we use in the studio and that people buy for their homes. And on video, you're seeing us try to talk to the iPad where we are using our software to record the actual audio podcast. So this is multimedia with two people that have no idea really how to run a multimedia operation. But with all this stuff being so user friendly, we're doing our best to get the message out so that the local people can learn about us, discover us, be helped by the information we're sharing, and with this great multimedia setup, we can reach the globe because the message we're sharing, the tips, the advice, the su suggestions, the revelations we're sharing are universal. They could be enjoyed by somebody right down the street here, and they may end up wanting to come into the studio to get on with their real health and wellness program, and they might reach somebody on the other side of the world or somewhere in between uh, and benefit from the information we're sharing or even buy a sculpted fit home gym system for them, their family, or one for the office. So that's why we do this. And all we ask is that if you're listening or watching or both, as we do this, we didn't ask you to pay us for this. We do this because we're able to. We have gifts, skills, talents to help a lot of people. And all we ask is that you think of at least one person, maybe even a few hundred or a few thousand people who can benefit from this share this with them somehow there's a share button somewhere where you're listening or watching there's at least one share button where you can send this by text email uh, social media share it with them and let's spread the word and let's help make this world a healthier better place so did I miss anything in that intro Nikki I think that's perfect uh, how do people reach us how do people reach us okay so First place is wherever you're watching or seeing this, you can most likely reach us through there, whether it is Facebook, whether it is on YouTube, whether it is through the podcast host that we're using. There is either a place to contact us or a link to find the place where to contact us. Okay. And if not, you can find us on Facebook at sculpt -to fit You can come to the website, we have many websites, but sculpt -to -fit .com if you're local. If you're long distance, Go to fitnesstraining.live, and on fitnesstraining.live, you'll be able to sign up for several free videos that you can use this week, right at home or at the office, to start getting on the health and wellness path. You'll also get a few more links. There's surprise links, surprise gifts from us that you'll be able to use and share. And in those emails, you'll also get the direct ways to get in touch with us. No matter if you're here in the neighborhood, across town, or on the other side of the world, you'll have everything you need to reach us, get in touch with us, communicate with us, and find out more about how we can help you, no matter where you are. If you're on this earth, we can help you. Awesome. Come connect with us. We want to talk to you. We want to hear your story. We want to help you. Exactly. I'm on Facebook. Nikki's on Facebook. All the other Sculpted Fit coaches are on Facebook. So come find us. Connect with us. We want, we're here to help you. But if you don't reach out, we can't help you. Awesome. All right. So should we get into it? Let's do it. Episode five. Here Episode we go. Five. All right. A few housekeeping things for our local studio clients in St. John's, Florida. Uh, Dorian is coming, so it's Saturday. Looks like. Speaking of 
speaking of Dorian, yeah. D-Man, you might be watching or you might be listening. Dorian was and is my best high school friend. Oh, no way. Yeah, pure Italian family. Um, and so, of course, once I saw the hurricane was named Dorian, I sent him a text. <laughs> I can't repeat it on air here because it's PG-13. Uh, but lots of joking going back and forth, especially as Dorian gets closer. <laughs> yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> oh, Dorian, yeah, causing havoc. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. I love you, man. Oh, I love it. Um, so we will keep you guys updated in terms of studio being open, studio that we need to close. Uh, we have all those resources that you at home, whether you are a client or not a client, can also access seven day tone at home for free. Right. Lots of awesome free programs um, that you can still do in your house if you are um, hurricane bound inside. Uh, we've got a new configuration of exercises coming up nice. in about a week. Okay. Uh, so it. brand new set of exercises in the studio. Uh, we should actually try to share this with, with our podcast friends. We'll do it. So next time we shoot the video, when the configuration video is shot, we'll, we'll, we'll put that video on the page with the podcast. Perfect. Video feed and audio feed. Speaking of configuration change, don't lose your train of thought. Every, every four weeks in here, and then for me, when I'm working with uh, personal private coaching clients, the interval is a little different because that's very customized, but every four weeks in here and maybe every eight to 12 weeks with private personal coaching clients, we change what's called the configuration, the training circuit, which means we have 16 stations in here. And every four weeks, the coaching team gets together and they design a new configuration, not just for variety's sake, but for physical and mental progression's sake of all the clients that come in here. So when Nikki talks about a new configuration, it's gonna be 43, 44? 43. So we're already on 43 configurations since we opened over three years ago. So configuration 43. And what's cool is that even after 43 configurations, you guys and I are coming up with new exercises still every month because on this thing and in the studio and people at home, there are count hundreds of exercises that can be done on here and we're still coming up, coming up with new ones. We have some new attachments in the works, but the point of this whole thing is that even our unique, gentle, different methodology and approach to fitness training for the masses, even inside of that, we still have endless options and variety to implement and use and to keep your body and mind stimulated and engaged and interested so that you want to stick with this, you want to stay with it, you enjoy this, and you look forward to the unique changes and challenges coming forward that are just challenging enough to move you ahead, but not so challenging where they break you down and hurt you. So there's a, there's a fine balance there between creativity and pushing the limits too much. And the team is awesome at that, the best. Yeah, they're great. Um, so we've got that coming up soon, and then that was my short list. So we've got um, some clients to talk about, yes. um, a little bit of food chat, and then Q&A. And remind me, when we get to uh, Nelson and Patty to talk to you about the neck exercises that you showed me. Perfect. We'll so, awesome. All right, so let's get started here. So you just saw Shirley. Yeah, so I was in here during the week. We've got some really cool stuff going on behind the scenes with the advancement of the home gym systems for homes, offices, vacation homes. So I was in here with, in some stealth meetings between classes when the studio was a little bit quieter. And I happened to see some clients, uh, one who I've known who I've known for a while, Shirley, who actually is one of our Sculpt Different Home Gym Systems. And she, they can't get enough. They come here, she comes here for her fitness, to be with the coaches and the other clients, and she also bought one of these for her and her main man to have at the house, so that they're always, they always got what they need, always. So I haven't seen Shirley since I personally delivered her home gym system about three months ago, give or take. So like Shirley, when I'm in here at times, I may not have seen somebody for three months, four months, six months, some people a year I haven't seen. But Shirley underscored something really important. Every time I see her, whether it's every three months or six or what have you, and Shirley's in her 60s, 
Okay, so Shirley's in her 60s-ish. And when she started, she admitted she was deconditioned. She was out of shape. She was worried. She wanted to get her health, wellness, and longevity back and intact. And she, her, she embodied that. You could see she was deconditioned. You could see she was out of shape. You could see she wasn't taking care of herself. Well, as the months progressed, she, her body morphed. And this wasn't about weight loss per se. This was about regaining health. And the way we have people focus on regaining their health, their wellness and longevity, we take the focus off of weight loss. Weight loss, if needed, because it's not needed by everybody, weight loss, if needed, becomes a side effect of where the focus is actually being placed on healthy living overall. So when I saw Shirley a few days ago, after not seeing her for three months, I was, like, I just couldn't believe it. It was, I can believe it. But to see somebody in the later stages of life living their better years, getting healthier, and their body morphing into something stronger, uh, looking better, looking more fit, posturally correct, energetic, and a, and a smile emanating a positive energy that is a reflection of how her body's improving and changing, uh, it's just, you know, it just brings joy to my heart to see that change and to witness it with my own eyes in front of me and see the proof that what we say is true and what the human body is capable of is fully true if you're willing to take the steps to put your mindset in the right place and develop a lifestyle of structured habits that give you the results you want and move you away from the things that you don't want. Mm -hmm. So seeing Shirley was, was awesome. I gave her the compliments. I let her know, like, I'm seeing it. I acknowledge you. I appreciate it. She was, you know, all lit up because mm -hmm. she knows it's happening. Yep. But to have people outside of you see you and Recognize it. acknowledge it, it's... It reinforces it in a deep way. So I had to look up because I wasn't sure. You said you thought Shirley was in her mid-60s? Shirley's 71. Wow. That's awesome. She looks so great. And she's, she's, she's turning the, the clock back on is, aging. And period. she's period. moving. Yeah. Wonderfully. So yeah, 71. Awesome. All right. Let's talk about some other clients. So Patty and Nelson. Yes. So being here the other day, uh, I got a chance to see some clients I've already seen and meet some new ones, the husband and wife couple, mm -hmm. Patty and Nelson. And can we share their age range? Uh, Patty is, let me give, I'll give and you this a, is, a range. This is in skill. a very positive light, by mm -hmm. the way. Absolutely. Patty is 80. 80, all right, so we have, and her, Nelson has to be close right. to that, right? Yeah. He's gotta be at least in his late 70s, Yeah. right? So Patty, 80 years old, she's a client here. Uh, when I was in here the other day, uh, I introduced myself uh, to everybody uh, because it's, it's an honor to have them in here um, following our methods and us being able to help them. And she had her Sculpted Fit shirt on and she was beaming and um, she, they're doing our Trainer assisted stretching. Trainer assisted stretching. So they're in our specific trainer assisted mobility uh, and flexibility training sessions with a one on one with a coach. So it's a husband and wife couple. They come in for that specific reason. Uh, and so we had a great conversation. We ended up, they, they know one of my former clients, Mark McCumber. Uh, very well. Mark McCumber was a PGA Tour player, senior tour player, very successful, very well known, especially in the Jacksonville area. Uh, and through a certain organization, they know each other. And so, and I don't, I didn't ask Patty. She asked me, "Hey, I I know you know Mark McCumber," um, and I didn't ask her how she found that out or knew it. I don't know if it was in literature she found or what have you. But we started talking and and. Uh, we started talking about how I developed the golf specific program out at the beaches in Ponte Vedra and how that's how I met Mark and his family and Josh and um, how, how what she and Nelson are doing are actually a uh, progression of the flexibility and mobility programs I was doing with all the athletes out at the beaches. Okay. And so my point here in bringing them up today is one, it doesn't matter what your age range is. If you're alive, you can make progress, but it has to be done properly. Mm -hmm. You can hurt yourself badly and put yourself out of the game totally, or 
you can train and do things the right way that nurture your body, that strengthen your body, that make it more able so that you have a better life, regardless of your age. The body will still respond if it's stimulated properly, mm -hmm. right? So it comes down to having the know-how. So let's talk about the, this mobility program that they're doing, the trainer-assisted program. Um, how, what made them want to get started in that? Like what, what brought them in here to that and how did they get on it? So Patty is actually a client of ours. In the studio. Okay, studio so she, client. Yep, so she already knew our method. She already knew, you know, she felt safe doing what we were doing. Um, and she wanted to get a little bit more flexible, a little bit more limber for her everyday life. Um, she also knew that her husband could could benefit from it as well. So when we opened up the program, she reached out. She said, Nikki, I want to try it with Nelson. Um, I think this will be great for us. And they've been doing it for, I want to say, about three months. Right. Incredible progress, right. incredible. Nelson does the stretches um, and the, the movements that our coaches give them to do at home, um, and that's helped tremendously. Patty, her range of motion has completely opened up, um, and, and they've been doing really well. What's, what's great about this program, and from them, their biggest takeaway is they travel a lot, mm -hmm. right? They're retired, mm -hmm. they go see family, they go on vacation. Um, plane rides that used to be miserable, they're okay. Right. Um, as, as they're getting older, which is just fantastic. So They're actually aging in reverse. Aging so in reverse. we call this, one of the words is mobility. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mobility modality of exercise, right? Trainer-assisted stretching. Mobility, it's the ability to be mobile, hence mobility. The ability to be mobile, to get around with strength, with balance, with self-confidence. Right, so they're doing this range of motion stretching, which stretching on your own is awesome. We have a bunch of great stretching programs, flexibility programs. If you're long distance, we have a video portal that you can join and get access to all of our self-training videos, our personal training videos that you can do at home. Regardless of whether or not you have a home gym system, it doesn't matter. We have videos for everybody. Even if you have no equipment at your house and all you have is some space in front of your couch, we have things that will, that will help you profoundly reach out to us, let us know you want the link to that video portal and we will share that with you. Um, when you're in the later stages of life, even if you've been sedentary, you start doing things the right way, you start to regain balance. You start to regain strength. And I know the name of this podcast and video show is Wellness and Weight Loss for Women. Truth is, it's not all about weight loss. That's why we put wellness at the front of it. This is about wellness first, and yes, about 80% of the population is overweight or obese, so we have to include weight loss in there because it's an essential problem that when we solve, we're taking care of wellness as well. So let's make that clear. So range of motion, mobility training, you get back your balance, you regain strength by your body becoming more able to be mobile, mm -hmm. right? You have mental self-confidence. You feel, hey, I, I don't, I can do this, I can move this way, I can lift my own luggage out of, the, out of the compartment up top, I can carry my own luggage. We don't have to be in a wheelchair at the airport if we're gonna travel. We can walk on our own feet because we have strength, balance, mobility, mm -hmm. right? So we use them as an example to show people it doesn't matter what age range you're in, there are still profound benefits you can get if you train your body properly with the right modalities. There is cardio exercise. There is strength training, which doesn't need to be with weights and heavy machines. It can be done like we do it here, mostly with body weight, bands, and small accessories if you use the body properly. Uh, flexibility, range of motion, balance training, I may have already said. Uh, but you have a multi-dimensional equation when it comes to fitness, right? And so when we're doing all those properly, Everything, everything that comes as a result of that is a side effect of the things you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so when eating properly, which is what we coach people on, and most people start doing it naturally because they're in a good program, mm -hmm. the weight loss starts to happen because we're using our physiology the way it's designed to be used, not sedentary, and then we start eating in a way that is conducive to the way the body wants to be nourished instead of going against it with all the trash foods and too much of it. The body starts taking the shape and form of a body that's being treated and nourished properly. Mm -hmm. 
So, mobility is big. If you're interested in mobility, reach out to us. We give you free videos. You can come in here. You can sign up for our higher level stuff. But we're here to help, so reach out. We want you to know that mobility, stretching, and flexibility is an extremely important aspect of fitness at any stage of life, and even more important in the later years, because it helps you stay able to move. Right, let's see. What did I eat? Yes, what did you eat? Let's say today or yesterday for dinner. We'll go yesterday for dinner. Um, so, last night, one of my favorite salads, romaine lettuce, uh, hard boiled egg, mm -hmm. uh, carrots, what else did I have there? And the organic plum tomatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, you have a little bit of everything there. A little bit of everything. Olive oil. Not olive oil, uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, that had some oil in it. Yeah. Yep, good. And that was it. It was delicious. Awesome. So you had your protein in there with the egg. Mm -hmm. Any carbs in addition to it? Or? Uh, I think last night. I don't think so. I think I ate that one later. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Nikki's favorite salad. Mm -hmm. Basic, simple, good quality romaine, tomato, hard boiled egg for your protein and healthy fats. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Carrots. Carrots. So oh, sometimes I have almonds. Those uh, those plain almonds with that vinaigrette. Right. Perfect. Punch. So balsamic vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Simple, healthy, and that's it. Tastes awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good stuff in there, and that's that, that's how easy it can be. Yeah. What'd good. you have last night? Last night, and I, I actually shot a video for this, which is going to be in the video on demand portal. Anybody who's a member, you'll be able to see that. I made. What I call, and this was experimental a few days ago, and it came out so good, I decided I'm going to make it again, and I'll video record it because other people need this. Right. So I got a very small uh, pot, put uh, maybe a third or half a can of chickpeas in there, mm -hmm. poured maybe just enough chicken stock to be level with the chickpeas, okay. heated it up so ju it just started to boil and get warm, turned it off. I put a bunch of different seasonings, herbs, and spices, sea salt, black pepper, and I mashed it up. I mashed the chickpeas. Okay. And I put a few more chickpeas because I needed to mash it to soak up more of the liquid. But it was basically a, a chickeny chickpea ma soup mash, hmm. soup, superfood soup mash, because all those herbs, spices, and the electrolytes from the sea salt and black pepper, mm -hmm. those are not just for flavor. Those actually help us fight disease, mm -hmm. uh, fight illnesses. They're here on this earth to flavor our foods, to, to make us want to eat more of good foods, but also those things from the earth actually help us fight disease. That's what I believe. There are plenty of studies out there that indicate I'm on the right track in my thinking. Right. Um, and because I believe that, it's the opposite of putting garbage in your body. You put garbage in your body, you will get diseased. Mm -hmm. You put good stuff from the earth in your body, it will strengthen your body, it will strengthen your immune system, and it will fight off and prevent disease. And that's my belief. So I made that chickeny chickpea superfood soup mash, mm -hmm. and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the second time I made it, I did add in some cashews for extra protein and fat and to round out the protein amino acid profile and make it a little, little heartier. Mm -hmm. um, but it was awesome, and I was blown away. Just another creation, you know, looking around, seeing what I have, and trying something new, yeah. and it was phenomenal. Was it warm? It was, it was warm, it was warm. Yeah. and you know, and on the video, I go through other variations. After you make this, you can do this to it, mm -hmm. you can add this, you can change this next time. Uh, so if you want that video, um, and you're interested in all the Quickly Fit cooking videos, go to fitnesstraining.live, sign up for a bunch of free materials, and then we can show you how to get access to the full library um, that'll be at your fingertips on demand so you can start using these for yourself and your family. But that's what I eat. Awesome. I like it a lot. All and right. I did have some organic tortilla chips for my carbohydrates. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So it's like a soupy um, hummus. Yeah, exactly. I like it a lot. Yeah. All right. So what else is in your bag? So what do you eat? Everyone wants to know. Joey's grocery bag. Joey's so grocery I actually bag. got good feedback when we did this. There are people who really like this yeah. little part of the, uh, the episode. So. So as not to double up on what I shared last time, and I actually have, I've got three bags filling up with things to share, but we can't share them all in the same episode, so I'm gonna leave those bags aside. Okay. And my point is, in sharing as these things are piling up, 
people would think, oh, you're in such lean shape, you must not eat a lot. Well, I don't eat a lot, we don't eat a lot, like I'm sure you do the same, compared to the normal crowds out there, right. right? Compared to them, no, we don't eat a lot, but if you look at us eat in the course of a week, we eat a lot, relatively speaking. We're not, we're not just on these salad diets right. that you eat some dry salad with nothing added to right. it, right? So, it's funny, I'm looking at the bags piling up, I gotta share these on the next episode because people will wanna see this, people wanna know this. So, I'll pick out a few things, we'll leave some other stuff for next time. One thing I just finished is extra virgin olive oil. This one is organic from Walmart. And my point in sharing this is one to show you, this is one of the healthy fats that should be in everybody's diet, mm -hmm. ideally organic. And the fact that whole, uh, Walmart and Amazon make it so cost efficient to get access to organics now, make it a no brainer. So I finished this, I've already got, I keep a few on hand when I know I'm running low. Uh, my kids love this stuff, um, girlfriend loves it, she's an Italian, Italian raised cook. Um, so this is a staple, it should be a staple in everybody's house and it's healthy for you. So organic, extra virgin olive oil. Speaking of the, uh, Tortilla chips I had with my, my dinner. These are late July organic chia and quinoa restaurant style tortilla chips. These are phenomenal, super delicious. You don't need to eat the whole bag. You can just take a handful, eat them slowly, enjoy them. They have a lot of substance to them. And compared to your mass market, highly processed tortilla chips, these are an extremely healthy choice. You should have no guilt eating these. As long as you don't have a condition that prevents you from eating chia or quinoa or any of the carbohydrates that go in here. But these are awesome. Uh, so this was, you know, it took a week to get through this bag because you're not eating a pile of it, a mountain of it. Right. You're eating some of it. Um, speaking of, let's do two more things here. Um, locally, we have Publix, right? So I'm a big fan of sparkling water especially when it's naturally uh, essenced, mm -hmm. not no sugar added. Um, I, I add stevia to mine, the herbal sweetener stevia, but usually I drink these straight up. Ooh, I even have a sample can in here, look at that. So this is lemon. If you're in the Southeast, Publix has their own brand, Organic Greenwise. They have about four flavors. That's actually what is in my beverage holder. I poured it in there before I left the house. And these are a great way to get through the day without filling yourself up with unnecessary food. Has a nice little flavor. The seltzer, the bubbles, give you a little bit of substance and take away any possible hunger pains that you might have that you haven't learned to be at peace with yet. That's another story for another day. We'll actually put that on another episode, is being at peace with feeling hungry in your stomach. That means good, good things are happening. It doesn't mean, mean you need to go eat right away. So we're gonna save that, mark that for another episode. Awesome. And we'll share one. With this one, yeah. if people don't have Publix, what do they look for? So if you don't have Publix, go to your, your favorite local stores. You can also go to Amazon and search for natural sparkling water with no sugar added. And there's not only a huge list of choices right now, but there are more companies coming out because the, des the demand, the, de the desire for these in a healthy lifestyle is growing by leaps and bounds and people are learning, I need something to replace soda. Because yes. soda is a killer. And so here you go, down to zero calories, nice flavor, makes you feel healthy, doesn't, doesn't kill your body, doesn't kill your, your heart, doesn't give you diabetes, helps prevent it. So search your local stores, ask the managers, I need a, a sparkling water that's all natural, maybe organic with no additives in it, and preferably look for BPA-free cans. No BPA added, you'll see some of them have a little uh, logo, BPA-free, that means no bisphenol A, which is a chemical that used to be lining all bags, cans, and, and plastics, and since it's been found to be a, a cause of cancer, lots of companies are actively taking it out and promoting the fact that they take that out of their packaging and their foods. Uh, we'll share one more item and we'll save the rest for next time. Uh, speaking of carbohydrates, healthy carbohydrates, in the course of a day, in the course of a week, if you look at how I eat, 
it is relatively low or high nutrient value carbohydrates. But I still love bread. Most people love bread. I just maybe don't eat nearly the amount I used to. It might be one-tenth of the amount that I used to when I was back in my unhealthy overweight days when I had food issues. Since getting those under control, I have not completely eliminated bread. And this is the same way we coach people. You don't have to eliminate everything. It's a matter of getting it in the proper balance that your body needs and thrives on. So, Trader Joe's. We have two Trader Joe's here in the Jack's area. Trader Joe's is phenomenal, a great place to shop if you know what to buy. They have these organic French rolls, six to a bag. They're small enough where you can have one of those rolls and it is a full serving for you. You don't need more. Sometimes I cut mine in half because I, I just, I'm okay with half. Like a little carbohydrates go a long way in my mind and my body now. But my daughter loves these. She takes at least one a day to school. And uh, it's a great high quality source of good clean carbohydrates sourced from organic ingredients, which means no herbicides, no pesticides, no fungicides, uh, none of that stuff. Everything in here is clean. I'm a big fan of clean foods, cleanly sourced. And one roll is just 130 calories. So if you're active, if you're pursuing a fitness program, you're, you're walking, you're healthy, these carbohydrates will get used. Here's the thing, you just can't eat three or four of these at one sitting, which is the problem that a lot of people have. You have to find enjoyment and, and satisfaction and pleasure in one, and then that is it. That's the, that's the point I wanna make here. Besides what it is, it's how and when we eat it. Very, very important distinction there. That's it for Joey's grocery bag today. I'm gonna save the rest for next time, and we'll even pull in the other bags too in the future episodes, but if you have any questions about any of those, no matter where you're seeing this, either post below or near it, or come find us for your questions, and we'll answer those on the next episode. Love it. Joey's grocery bag. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to post all those links. Um, perfect, actually, segue here. Did you read that article on Food is Killing Us? Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Very important. I'm going to pull it up here. Um, because this is really, this is, this is at the root of most of what this country is suffering from in terms of healthcare problems and health problems, mm -hmm. uh, where being overweight leads to obesity and obesity is the trigger for a whole cascade of other diseases that we're suffering from. So we're going to talk more about this, but um, serendipity brought this into, into my view. I'm trying to think now, a friend of mine forwarded it to, to me. Uh, he said, hey, this parts of this sound like you talking, the way you philosophize about our food supply in this country and how most people are suffering because of that. Mm -hmm. And so I read it and I'm thinking, yeah, I could have wrote, I could have written that paragraph, I could have written that. And this really resonated with me in a way such that I'm going to reach out to the two authors, connect with them and see if I can get them on my main podcast to really wow. go deeper and focus on this and talk more about it because this is the kind of stuff that needs to be um, amplified and exponentiated and, and continuously disseminated so that more people find it, more people wake up, more people come become aware mm -hmm. that the problem is right in their own grocery stores and they're bringing it into their own kitchens and feeding it to themselves and their families. Yeah. We have to be responsible for the choices we make and not let the companies and institutions dictate what we choose and what should be okay and healthy for us. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be in the dark about it. It should be black and white, crystal clear. So I'm just gonna read just a few paragraphs from here to give our listeners and viewers some context. And we're surely gonna expand upon this in various ways because this is really, really important. There are many layers of this, uh, not just the, the physical layers of it, like the food itself, yes, that's objective. We see that it's mass produced, highly processed, and these foods are the ones that have a high uh, indication that the people who eat those foods are the ones who gain weight, are the ones who suffer from various diseases, mm -hmm. diabetes, cancer, high blood pressure, heart disease, etc. So let's just read a little bit of it to enlighten our listeners and viewers. Uh, and so first, our the authors who wrote this opinion article for the New York Times, this isn't just their first go-around either. They have done others, they will do more, and I really want to make an effort to connect with them because 
there's strength in numbers, and the more we get together and talk about this and show people the proof, the stronger impact we'll have. It's by Darius Mozafarian and Mr. Dan Glickman. Uh, Mr. Mozafarian is the Dean of Tufts Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy, and Mr. Glickman was the Secretary of Agriculture in the U.S. from 1995 through 2001. Now that says something, mm -hmm. all right? This isn't just like your weekend blogger talking about stuff, which nothing against them if they're speaking about things that are, uh, they're supporting big movements that are scientifically proven and underscored by people of authority. But gives you some, some uh, idea of where these, these people are coming from. So I'll read a little bit. <clears throat> the democratic debate on healthcare has to, has to date centered around who should be covered and who should pay the bill. That debate, which has been going on for decades, has no clear answers and cannot easily be resolved because of two fundamental realities. Healthcare is expensive and Americans are sick. Now, I just wanna uh, interject here, make sure we mention the title of this opinion is our food is killing too many of us. So I resume. Americans benefit from highly trained personnel, remarkable facilities, and access to the newest drugs and technologies. Unless we eliminate some of these benefits, our healthcare will remain costly. We can trim around the edges, for example, with changes in drug pricing, lower administrative costs, reductions in payments to hospitals and providers, and fewer defensive and unnecessary procedures. These actions may slow the rise in healthcare spending, but costs will keep rising as population ages and technology advances. And Americans are sick, much sicker than many realize. More than 100 million adults, that is almost half the entire adult population, have prediabetes or diabetes. Cardiovascular disease afflicts about 122 million people and causes roughly 840,000 deaths each year, which is 2,300 deaths each day. Three in four adults are overweight or obese. That's three in four. 75% of adults are overweight or obese. More Americans are sick, in other words, than they are healthy. Instead of debating, this is important here, Instead of debating who should pay for all this, no one, no one is asking the far more simple and imperative question, what is making us so sick and how can we reverse this so we need less healthcare in the first place? The answer is staring us in the face, on average, three times a day, sometimes more, and that is our food. And they go on from there to really uh, detail and outline and pull studies and references to support this argument, which is not, to me, it's not an argument. It's, that's as clear as day, it's a fact. It is our food, it is the way people eat, it is the quality of what they eat and the quantities of what they eat. And I, I thought it would be a good idea to mention it on here today because when we talk about wellness and weight loss, whether it's for women or men, uh, it's, this is for everybody. We have to really be mindful of the sources of where our foods are coming from, and we have to take self-responsibility for making the choices, and then how much and how often we're eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. Unless we take the responsibility onto ourselves, for us and our families, we can't change anything. Mm -hmm. We can't expect institutions to tell us what to change and then to keep certain foods and beverages out of the stores so that we can't buy them. It's up to us to make the decision. When we decide if less people, if more and more people start buying less and less of the bad foods and beverages, the companies have no choice but to stop selling them right. because we're not buying them. Right. So I thought it'd be a, a good idea to highlight that today. Yeah. We will share a link to this opinion article online, both on the sculptifit.com website. We will send it out in the newsletters. So anything you sign up for with us, any of the free video trainings you sign up for at fitnesstraining.live, or the seven day tone at home at sculptofit.com. We will share the link in the next newsletter that goes out so that you can have the article for yourself. You can follow the links to all the research studies, the, uh, the journals, the, the references, and you can also actually connect with uh, Mr. Mozafarian and Mr. Glickman through the social media channels that they share via the article. So we're gonna share that. Uh, just stay connected with us and you'll, you'll get references and links to that. 
And what's amazing is that we have the power. People can go, you can watch this this podcast or listen to this podcast or, you know, find what are healthy options and make your own choices. It doesn't have to be, you know, what's first on the shelf or, you know, what's in the biggest, brightest colors. It's, it's about your health and wellness and it's about you getting that knowledge to make that decision to change, which then will hopefully have that impact on those, exactly. those markets exactly. and those companies. Exactly, and it's, it's, it's a challenge. I mean, I, like I've shared in the past, I've been through my phases of life where food and beverages controlled me mm-hmm. because I allowed it to. Mm-hmm. And to be the health, fitness, wellness professional and coach that I wanted to be, I needed to fix that to show that it's possible mm-hmm. and, and show proof of the example that it can be done and then share what mindset, what frame of references did I start using and implementing to allow me to make those changes for different choices and different outcomes. Mm-hmm. If I can do it, anybody can do it because I was highly codependent. I say I was addicted to certain foods and ways of eating uh, that needed to be changed and I share that example so that people understand I wasn't born fit, I wasn't born and in shape, and I didn't have the gift of genetics and and perfection. Still not there, uh, working toward it, but I've had my own battles, I've had my own challenges, just like everybody else out there in that 75, 80% of overweight or obese and out of shape and unhealthy, I was there at certain times of life suffering. And to feel that uh, made me better able to empathize with what people are actually going through in the moment in order to be able to communicate with them to help get them out of there and move to a better place, about a, a safer, more healthy realm of living. Mm-hmm. It just takes that, that shift, and it has to be you. That's it. Absolutely. And we're here to help. If anybody needs it, there's help around you. We can help. Um, don't hesitate to look for that help when you need that support. All right, I've got a couple Q&As for you, Joey. So Julie sent an email in about cellulite showing up on the back of her thighs. Ooh, yeah. Good one. I, I was hoping you'd get that in when I shared it. So I'm going to go to her email. It's worth reading. And a lot of women especially, this will, uh, this will resonate with. Uh, here we go. Julia actually purchased, uh, actually Julie purchased uh, one of my programs, uh, Naked Beauty specifically with combating cellulite and building lower body strength, balance, and agility uh, in a safe way. So she sent me her question. I got it directly, and, and, and the question is good because a lot of people will benefit from the answer. So I thought I'd, number one, since I don't have the physical capability of answering all the questions that come into my support team, that get posted in my social media, that go to my Facebook inbox and to email, I'm going to pick the best ones, share them here, and then everybody can benefit from them instead of just one person possibly benefiting from me trying to have a chance to answer it. So here we go. Good morning, Joey. Thank you for responding to me so quickly. I truly appreciate your dedication to health and fitness. I'm 57 years young and have been dedicated to health and fitness my entire life. I'm 5'4 and a half inches tall and weigh 105 pounds. Now, We talk weight loss here, but there are people who need wellness that do not need weight loss. So let's keep that in in perspective. I have never been a pound overweight in my life. In fact, I have been this weight since 13 years old. However, in the last two to three years, I have been noticing dimpling and uh, puckering at the top of the backs of my thighs and lower fanny area. We call that cellulite. It's an adjective to describe what the surface of a body looks like in certain trouble zones and problem areas. All my life I have enjoyed desserts after each meal. I exercise two hours and 15 minutes a day, five days a week, and have done this religiously for decades, which is awesome. Maybe I just need to incorporate some specific exercises into my routine, and that is why I purchased your Naked Beauty program, the Simulast Method. It would be much too difficult for me to give up my sweets and treats at dessert time And I know this, so I'm really hoping that your special moves will do the trick from the program. I have no lines or wrinkles on my face, and I dress very youthfully. So most people believe that I'm in my 30s. Do you believe that with my desserts after my meals that I can still be successful with your program 
in illuminating and getting rid of the dimpling and shadowing and lifting up my fanny area and behind the thighs. Uh, as I know, gravity also has some play in this. I really appreciate you taking the time to read this email and answer my question in the last uh, line of the, the first paragraph you just read. Having this knowledge will hopefully put me on the way to success. Thank you for including the link in your last uh, email to order the extras. Before I wrote this mail, I did order them, which is the DVD and book set version. I really look forward to checking my email to read the different information that you have been sending. Uh, we send out our newsletters. Like I said, we have great stuff that we send it all the time. That's what she's referring to here. A lot of that's for free. Um, thank you so very much, and I look forward to what you say about the dessert and my cellulite issues and remembering how difficult it would be for me to cut these out of my diet totally. With much appreciation for what you are doing, Julie. So, Julie and all others, here's the thing. Contextually, we'll speak about this with what Julie wrote here. Uh, the dimpling and shadowing that's just appearing on the backs of her thighs and her fanny, number one, it will get worse if she does not change anything, which is hence why she found my cellulite-specific toning program, Naked Beauty, the Simulast Method. She's going to change her body just by adding that into her weekly routine. The question about the desserts being a hindrance to what she's trying to fix, uh, I'm going to say no, because all factors remain in the same. She eats healthy, she's not overweight, um, she's mindful of her eating, but she just has these desserts after her, it sounds like evening meal. And so, seeing that she doesn't overdo it, um, my answer is, having your desserts, if all factors being the same, will still allow you to get the improvements of Naked Beauty Dissimulast program for those cellulite issues that are starting to pop up. Uh, I see no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, this I speak from my education and also experientially. Most women who are similar to what you present here have changed the quote unquote cellulite, the appearance of cellulite, the dimples, the shadows, the ripples, without changing their nutrition when 90% of it was good in the first place and you might enjoy a treat here and there in the form of, say, a dessert after dinner or a dessert after lunch. So all factors being the same, I'm 90 to 95, maybe 99% sure that you will fix the cellulite issues without having to drop your dessert treat uh, each day. So I look forward to your success story. Please do take the four photos like I encouraged you in the first email that we exchanged. And we want to see the proof that yes, your cellulite will disappear with the program, even though you've been able to still eat your desserts while the other, the rest of your diet has been relatively healthy. And we look forward to sharing that success story. So thanks for sending that question in, Julie. I appreciate it, and I hope that answer helps. Awesome. All right, we've got an anonymous question sent in that said, "What can I do to stop myself from snacking at night and ruining a whole day of healthy eating?" Yeah. So this is a whole episode by itself. Um, but really, it's not one trick or one tactic, um, which I can share. Like for example, the seltzer, mm -hmm. a can of seltzer at night with a squeeze of lemon or lime extra in there, mm -hmm. even with a little drop of stevia or some stevia powder, um, that goes a long way in taming the appetite in the evening. So will it replace somebody's urge to snack? And, and you know what somebody snacks on is a whole other story. It might be an apple, or it might be a half a pint or a whole pint of ice cream is not good. Mm -hmm. Apple is okay. Mm -hmm. um, but um, when when this question is asked, my assumption is that it's bad snacking yeah. that's derailing somebody at night, because that's when a lot of people can do damage. I used to be that guy. I used to do more damage than most people, because uh, I had no I had no, uh, no center of focus on my true values, my intentions, and my purpose. So it wasn't a tactic I had to change. It was a mindset shift that I had to go through that then allowed me to start structuring my evenings so that my choices were in line with my values and goals. So that's the first thing that needs to be done is the mind shift to dictate what choices you have given yourself at night to choose from. When those choices are in order and in line with your goals, then you can make any of those choices and you're not going to mess up on the snack that you choose, whether it's a piece of dark chocolate or it's a, a cup of tea, which is really big in my book. I love drinking various teas at night. So I've developed this 
this love of teas and trying various teas and the flavorings of teas. And there's a whole realm of tea out there that people never even heard of. Um, and if you like your sweet, you can add some stevia, herbal sweetener stevia to sweeten it instead of sugar. Even a little bit of honey won't kill anybody. Honey's healthy for you in my book. Um, so does that, does that help on that kind of question? I think that so. The answer isn't so simple, and yet it can be simple once your mind frame is in the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, think, I think it helps. Um, and if anyone else has any specific questions, um, feel free to, to get in touch with us, and we can kind of go in and dig in further for that. And our last Q&A question we have here is from Amber via email. So she asked about cardio suggestions for EDS or POTS condition. Yeah, awesome. Um, so Amber is a long distance client who bought, also bought some of my videos. She actually started with Naked Beauty, the single last method, several months ago, and I didn't know this. She came back to buy a bunch of my other videos. And when I see something like that, either my support help will forward it to me, mm -hmm. or if I notice it first, I will reach out. Because right. I want to know what made this person come back and buy a bunch of other programs. So I spoke with her, and what she told me was that she has a, a trifecta of conditions. Uh, I want to make sure I get the wording right, so I'm going to pull up the blog post I just did about this. Um, it is... POTS, which is an acronym for something. Uh, there's mast cell activation and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So it's Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, POTS, which is an acronym for something. Most people use the POTS. And mast cell, mast cell activation syndrome. Most people have all three of these together. Okay. And basically, it, it prevents you from training or working out or doing hard physical activities because your body is very sensitive, your joints are very sensitive. They can't take the hardcore pushing and strenuous activity that a lot of people can sub subject themselves to if they survive long enough and not get injured, right? She couldn't do any of the HIIT training, the hardcore stuff, cross training methodologies, the heavy weights. Um, and so she found that our, our gentle body weight, focus, slow, control, no momentum styles of training were perfect for her. Mm -hmm. That's why she came back to buy the other programs and create this full program. She used to do a lot of hardcore stuff in the previous part of her life before she got the condition. Right. Once the condition hit, though, all that other stuff used to kill her. Mm -hmm. Used to hurt so bad, was so painful, she needed to find something else. She started searching for exercise programs and workouts that can be done with a chronic condition. That's how she found me. And from there, this whole sequence of events unfolded where I reached out, wanted to get more of it. I wrote a blog post about it. Um, we, she and I exchanged more emails about it. And then that question was one she sent me that I thought would be great to answer on here to, for time's sake and for letting other people also benefit from it. So <clears throat> she asked, the cardio question. Um, what kind of cardio would I suggest with a person who has EDS um, and uh, POTS and mast cell activation? And so the truth is, number one, it has to be confined to the cardio that you've tried, that you know is feels good to you and is safe for you, that you can do and survive beneficially. And of course, stay away from anything that you think or you know by experience has aggravated your condition and has set you back. So I already know she can walk. Walking is awesome. I encourage everybody to walk. I walk every day because I, I love doing it, love being out in nature. But walking, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest she advances her walking program to treadmill walking, especially in the bad weather, mm -hmm. to using the incline to increase your intensity, but without having to increase your speed or increase the pounding of her body if you're trying to get it to run. Right. So I call that treadmill trekking, where you use the incline to challenge yourself a little more slowly. Uh, we have treadmill trekking videos, by the way, in the video on demand portal. Um, the other is, I would suggest she tries jumping rope on a soft surface to try it, see how she does, right. 
and the other is jogging in place or doing various like jumping jacks, jumping moves on a small trampoline. Hmm. So trampoline is a very soft surface, it absorbs a lot of the shock, but it still allows people to do cardio. Now, they sell these mini trampolines you know, on Amazon, sporting goods stores, on the internet. Right. Uh, some people just don't like it. I never care for it, but some people love it. And if it's something you love that gives you another option with a certain condition right. that prevents you from doing other stuff where you need certain things, then that's another option as well. So treadmill trekking, which is walking on an incline on a treadmill, mm -hmm. uh, possibly jumping rope on a soft surface, uh, and or cardio on a mini trampoline that you can have at your house. Some gyms have them to use, uh, but doing various jump type exercises, soft jumping, running in place, jumping jacks, jumping joeys, um, all those variations can get the heart rate up, give you the cardio effect while going very easy on the joints. Right. And so for people with uh, EDS, um, they have what's categorized as hypermobility, uh, hypermobile joints, okay. means the joints are more lax, uh, they're more sensitive, uh, they're more fragile. So extra care has to be taken into any kind of physical activity that is done mm -hmm. so as not to injure the joints because you push yourself too far right. and suffer the injury, suffer the pains that result of that, uh, that result from that. Uh, so these people have to be more mindful of their choices and more mindful as they're doing it, how hard they're going right. and, and uh, how gentle they're executing whatever, it is, whatever program it is they're doing. So a lot of them can't do the mass, mass market traditional stuff, which is a blessing in disguise, really, because right. most people who can do it shouldn't be doing it anyway, and it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. We're proof of that. All of our clients who come here are proof of that. All of our long distance clients are proof of that. All the people we coach long distance are proof of that, that you can make profound progress, sometimes even way better progress with the gentle, lit style of training, low impact interval training, we call it for short. So that's it. I hope that helped. Did that help? Was that a helpful answer? I think that was. Amber, let us know. Yes, Amber, thank you for sending that in. I look forward to your continued success and hearing about it along the way so we can share your story with the other people who also are challenged by the same condition and we help them get more fit, healthy, and strong as well. Perfect. We good? We're Is that good. it? I think Done? That's it. Yeah. that's it. Episode number five. How are we doing on time here? Did we beat the clock or 60 minutes? Let's see. 56 minutes. So we got four minutes to wrap this up. So, I want to try not to yell because I know these mics pick it up very well. Thank you for tuning in on the live cam. Thank you for tuning in on the video if you're watching this after the fact somewhere else. Thank you for tuning in on the audio. If you can think of somebody else who needs to hear this or see the video or both, get this to them right now. Hit the share buttons, take the link, send it over to them. We do this for you, no charge, but we also want to help a lot of other people so that you can, you can help us spread the word it allows us to do more of these. It allows us to positively impact this world that is suffering. 80, 85% of this world is suffering, especially this American country and the other worlds are, are also suffering in their own way. The more these fast food, fast beverage, high consumption habits and mindset spreads to other countries, they're gonna suffer the same fate. Some of those countries already are. So let's get this message out globally. Hit the share button, send it to everybody you can think of. Let them decide if they want it or not. And if you are local, near the Sculpted Bit Studio, in what towns? Uh, St. John's, uh, Jacksonville, Ponte Vedra, Nocatee, Mandarin, Mandarin Group Cove, Switzerland, Park, yep. North St. Augustine, wherever. If you're anywhere near here, you should at least come visit, studio tour, try a sample session, mm -hmm. a class session for free, try a personal training session, like we were talking about in the beginning, a mobility session, trainer assisted mobility session with a private coach. We've got all kinds of options for all kinds of budgets. That's if you're local, go to sculptifit.com, reach out to Nikki. You can call our line if it's in, within reasonable hours, 904-891-3680. Call or text. If you don't get us in the off hours, somebody will get your message during business hours and get back in touch with you. If you are long distance, if you don't live nearby, get our free materials, start with those. They are awesome. You will appreciate them and start benefiting from them and you'll see and feel the philosophy that we teach and we employ and that we live by. Go to fitnesstraining.live, fitnesstraining.live. Sign up for all the free materials. You'll continue to get our newsletters. You'll get 
live notifications of when we do the podcast and the video show that so you don't miss an episode. Subscribe on the YouTube channel, follow the links, subscribe on the podcast feed so you get them automatically. And if you, if you are long distance and you want to go beyond all the freebies that we're sharing, you can use our videos in the video on demand portal. If you go to fitnesstraining.live, you will be sent that link for the option to sign up for the rest of the library that's already there, over 100 video sessions and cooking videos. You'll get a link to sign up to get access at a discount. You'll get two weeks free to start to, with everything at your fingertips for you and your family, and we can even get this into your coworkers' hands so you have a corporate wellness solution. If you wanna go all out, you can get the home gym system sent anywhere in the world so that you guys can benefit there and train with us following the personal training videos that we make on this unit. And if you need accountability and personal coaching and guidance, we also do long distance, one-on-one -on -one personal coaching because a lot of people lack that accountability. The will, the desire is there, but they can't get that accountability in place. We can coach you over three, six, nine months to build that accountability so that you become your own coach, your own boss, your own trainer, and you won't need us anymore. The only thing you'll need are the videos to keep following and those we give you for peanuts, really. Mm -hmm. So that's it. This is Joey Atlas, so we're about to sign off and sign out. We're gonna shut off the, the podcast feed here. Thank you for tuning in. It is off on its own, awesome. I'm gonna take my mic off here and then I'm gonna walk over to the cam that you're still watching on on the video and we're gonna shut that. And as always, this is Joey Atlas with Nick Doherty at the Sculpted Fit Studio. We appreciate your eyes, we appreciate your ears, we appreciate you tuning in. Any questions, comments, or thoughts, post below. We'll answer them on the next one, and we'll see you then.